a white couple in Chicago endured a horrific attack by a group of unnamed teenagers, resulting in severe injuries and a heartbreaking miscarriage for the wife. The assault wasn't driven by robbery, yet the culprits faced only minor misdemeanor charges. Nina was two weeks pregnant and says she found out after the attack that she lost the baby she was carrying. We believe in faith and it wasn't meant to be. So we don't know why this happened to us, you know, and everything, everything that we have. Donna and Scott, the family, they tell me that they don't believe the motive here was robbery. In fact, they weren't robbed for anything. What they did tell me is as these kids were attacking them, they uh, yelled out that they own the streets. The family, they don't want to be identified, but they do want people to be warned that these team gatherings can turn violent really quickly. And he looked back and he looked at me and told me, run. So he wanted to protect me. These are images of his injuries, bruising from head to toe. The attackers then unleashed their rage on Nina. Another lady came to me and uh, dragged me uh, through my hair with my hair on the ground. Uh, I start screaming. She start pepper spraying me right in the face and the eyes. Uh, another person starts stomping all over me. My husband ran towards me to save me. He, over 10 people, held him. Nina's hair was pulled from her scalp. Nina captured this image of the hair in her hand. When police arrived at Grand and McClure, the crowd started running, many hopping this fence. Two teens were arrested and charged. A 17-year-old girl and a 14-year-old boy. The teens aren't in police custody. Alderman Brian Hopkins says the teens shouldn't be able to get away with this. We're asking the state's attorney to consider upgrading those charges uh, to felony charges resulting in great bodily harm. Both victims suffered extensive injuries um, and the medical examination is ongoing. Law and order. The lenient prosecution of these attackers highlights a glaring failure of our judicial system to address violent crimes and protect its citizens adequately. The call for upgrading the charges to felonies underscores the need for stricter punishments to deter such heinous acts. Even as crime rates have reportedly declined, public safety concerns remain pressing, particularly with the rising reports of aggravated assaults. The emphasis on individual responsibility cannot be overstated. These attackers' actions reflect a troubling breakdown of community values and personal accountability, often tied to broader social issues like family structure and education. The senior president's response, which seems to prioritize managing public perceptions over addressing real criminal acts, can be seen as neglecting the severe impact on victims and the community at large. People are deeply concerned about their community safety, the effectiveness of the judicial system, and the moral implications of such attacks. The stark disparity between the crime's severity and the minor charges against the perpetrators raises serious questions about justice and accountability. The profound emotional and physical trauma suffered by the couple, especially the loss of their unborn child, stirs deep empathy and a strong call for justice within the community.